we have an example on the bias theorem here say let x1 x2 to xn be a random sample from a binomial distribution this is the distribution find the bias estimator of theta so how do we go about this please for more of this you need to subscribe to this channel solution the first thing to do is to recall that the posterior as we have discussed from the definition the posterior probability is equal to the probability of the distribution given theta multiplied by the probability of theta which is the prior all over the marginal distribution so if we know this at heart the next thing to do is to first let's get our prior distribution our prior distribution to apply bias theorem in this case we need a prior distribution for theta and a common choice is the beta distribution and why are we using the beta distribution it is due to the conjugacy with the binomial distribution since you are working on the binomial distribution the beta distribution has a conjugate a conjugacy with the binomial distribution so it means that theta will follow a better distribution of alpha and beta so the beta distribution has the probability density function that is the probability density function of the beta distribution is the probability of theta will be equal to theta alpha minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus theta and beta minus 1 so all over the beta alpha beta so we are here we are this we are this beta distribution is the beta function of course we know this so this is the beta function we have gotten the prior which is this now let's talk about the posterior distribution the posterior the posterior distribution can underline them the posterior distribution is proportional to the products of the likelihood and the prior what do i mean the posterior distribution like we have said which is um, the probability of theta given x let's use x is proportional to the probability we haven't changed anything of this multiplied by the prior so since we have this already all we need to do is just to take the likelihood function which is this this will not be the likelihood function as we have defined in our Bayesian theorem. So we multiply the likelihood function and the prior distribution together. What, how do we go about that? It means that if this is our likelihood function, our likelihood function for the binomial distribution is that means this function here 
PD theta, which is equivalent to this, is equal to theta x minus n minus x. So we are now multiplying this with the prior, which we have gotten already. So for we to do that, we take the posterior. The posterior is the probability of theta. In this case, we are using x to be proportional to the likelihood function of the binomial distribution, which is this. multiply by our prior, which is this. Alpha minus one, multiply by one minus theta, beta minus one, all over beta, alpha, beta. So, this is what we have. All right. We proceed. Since since this and these are constants since they are constant since they are constant to theta they can be absorbed into the normalization constant they can be absorbed into the normalization constant thus we'll have it as the posterior which is proportional to theta x plus alpha minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus theta n minus x plus beta minus 1. So we just absorb them into the normalization constant. This is the form of a beta distribution. So the posterior distribution is, this is the form of a beta distribution. So the posterior distribution here will give theta x will follow a beta distribution of x plus alpha and n minus x plus beta the reason is because if we bring out this we get this if we combine these together this will now be minus one plus one to give us zero so this one will go off so we take only this and we take the whole of this here so this is exactly our posterior distribution, but we have not ended yet. Though we have finished solving the equation, the next thing to do is we are asked to find the estimate, the, Bay uh, the Bayesian estimator, as the equation says, that we should find the bias estimator of theta. So we we'll recall that the bias estimator for theta under the squared error loss function is the mean of the posterior distribution. Is the mean of the posterior distribution. So for a better distribution of AB, for a better distribution, for a better distribution AB, the mean, which is the expected value is given as a all over 
a plus b so for our posterior distribution we also said that the beta is x plus alpha and n minus x plus beta this means that the expected value of this will be equal to x plus alpha which is our a all over x plus alpha plus n minus x plus beta we are just substituting we are taking this as x and sorry we are taking this as a and this is uh, this as b so we just substitute the value for a and the value for b to get the expected value when we normalize this we get x plus alpha all over x and x will go to give us this will cancel this to give us n plus alpha plus beta it means that the bias estimator for theta in a binomial distribution with a beta prior that is the bias estimator for theta in a binomial distribution with a beta prior is x plus alpha all over n plus alpha plus beta so this becomes our estimator as equation i've said this becomes our estimator for theta our estimator for theta will give us this so that is just how to obtain the bias estimator for theta given the binomial distribution